السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله تعالى فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وقائدنا ومعلمنا وحبيبنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيرته من خلقه أجمعين بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة فاللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وعمن تبع هداه واستنى بسنته وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد عباد الله We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this day in the month of Sha'ban that lift this virus and this crisis from the whole earth insha'Allah We as a Muslim believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we believe in the power of Allah and we know what can Allah the Almighty does and what Allah the Almighty wants he wants from this crisis to remember him to break our prideness for him to prostrate to him to make ruku' to bow to him to make dua only to him to say لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين That's the dua of Yunus عليه السلام where he was in the deep down ocean and he was inside the well stomach when he swallowed him and he remained 
inside the stomach of that big huge well until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Lawla, unless if he was Hadrat Yunus alayhi salam if he was not from those who did tasbih and istighfar he would remain in the stomach of that great well until the day of judgment till the resurrection day what shall we understand from the virus from corona as we receive so many messages that so many muslims unfortunately said that this is because allah is upset from us and the mosques is closed because Allah displeased of us. Mecca, Haram Medina was closed because Allah is not happy with us. And that is wrong. It's haram to say something that Allah didn't say it. And we all have the hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when it was a heavy rain and floods in Medina. He asked the Mu'azzin to say to people, pray at your home, pray at your home, and they close the mosque. Did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to the companion that Allah is getting angry from you, so we close the mosque? No. The mosque is closed. Mecca is closed. Medina is closed. But we still pray, alhamdulillah. We still get in the reward of Umrah. With Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whoever pray Fajr on time, and then he remain in his place, remembering Allah, send Salat to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until sunrise, and he pray two rak'ah, he will get a reward of Hajj with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, we can pray, alhamdulillah. And then we remember the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah has granted me something he did not grant it to the Prophet before me. One of them is Allah made the earth, the whole earth to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam masjidan wa tahura. Masjidan means prayer, place for a prayer. That means if the mosque is closed, we can pray anywhere on this earth. And tahura, if we have no water, we can do tayammum from the earth, from the sand, from the soil. And then, people saying, visiting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, visiting his masjid is now closed. But it's not closed. Because we could send Salah and Salam to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from whenever you are. As Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said in the hadith, whoever Whoever say salat was salam on me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will retain my soul to my body to reply his salam. So he didn't say, you come to me, say salam, I reply. No, he said, whenever you are, you say salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it will reach him in his grave in Medina al Munawwara as you are visiting the Medina. Because now of this virus, we cannot go to Medina, we cannot go to Mecca, but we could perform and get the reward of Hajj by remaining in our place of after Salat al-Fajr up to the sunrise, remembering Allah was Salat ala Rasulullah and then we'll pray to Raqqa after sunrise, we will get the reward of Hajj with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We cannot go to Medina, yes, but we can send our Salat salutation to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from here and then he will say to us, Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And that is the beautiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have something else which is the glorification. The glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we talk in the first part about the beautiness of Allah. That you are in your place, mosques closed, but we still can perform hajj and umrah inside our house. Quran we can read anytime. The big disaster when we wake up in the morning and we don't have anybody memorize the Quran and we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent 
unseen virus will lift the whole Quran from the earth. That means it's the major sign of the day of judgment. According to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one day people will wake up, no one Qur'ani hafiz. No one has the Qur'an in his heart. And no one can find the Qur'an on the shelf to read. And that is a major sign of the day of judgment. But now, why people this optimistic? And they're saying, oh, we cannot go to the masjid, we cannot perform hajj, we cannot perform umrah. Allah gave you the Qur'an in your house, you read it. It's time to revise the Qur'an. It's time to read the Qur'an. It's time to stay at home and getting the reward of shaheed every day. How come? I said that last month, last week. In the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the time of plague, in the time of plague, and now we have this virus corona worse than the plague. Worse than the plague. At least the plague, you can see the signs in the diseased face. But now we cannot see the sign of virus corona. That's why we scared from each other. Even when we see somebody in the street shaking hand, we run away. Subhanallah. Unseen virus made the whole 7 billion human being on this earth from the power the, the powerless country up to the weakness country. All of them scared from unseen virus. Why? We don't feel the same with the unseen God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whoever in the time of plague or any epidemic like what we are facing now, and he remain in his house, stay in his house. Why stay in his house? He will not given anybody disease and he's not bringing any disease to his house. Every day he stay at his home, praying, remembering Allah, he will get a reward of a shaheed, a martyr, for the sake of Allah. So now we are here, we do, as we say, ribat fi sabilillah, in our homes, we, we do the adhan, we praise five times, alhamdulillah, we eat, we drink, we talk to each other, and we can do everything without leaving the home. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We need shopping. Go your shopping straight away and come back. Don't, don't take any disease outside your house and don't bring in any disease into your house. That is the beautiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وعنا معهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا Brothers and sisters الحمد لله رب العالمين that he gave us the health and the strength to perform the salat in our home and we ask him as he gave us the strength and power and health to perform the salat to lift these viruses from the whole earth and cure every human being from this disease bi ta'ala. We talk in the first part of the khutbah about the beautiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I will focus on the glorification, ta'zim of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from the glorification of Allah, one big sign, if, if, this disease for Muslim brothers and sisters, this unseen virus did not make you know the way to Allah, that means your heart is dead. That means the Jahannam is our, or Astaghfirullah Azim, is their end. Why? Unseen virus making everybody recognize and acknowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and made the atheist believe on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People who say, oh, we don't know unseen God. You are frightened from unseen virus now. Why you wear a mask? Why you don't say there is no virus? I am challenging the virus. That is the glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenging us as he said in the surah in the Quran, Liman in the day of judgment, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the lives of everyone, every creature, all the angels, and then he will say, Liman al Mulkul Yawm. Who is the king today? Where are the kings? Where are the queens? Where are the power people? Where are the leaders? Where are the strong people? Today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us virus unseen from if they say it's a man-made if they say this virus is a man-made either china america any place yes then who created that man who made that virus allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even even the person who made this virus he he cannot have a treatment without the power of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then in these such days, we have some advices to everyone, which is now we cannot go out, we cannot do anything, but and everything now, mashallah, online. You have your brothers and sisters abroad. Now we have, mashallah, bread, we have water, we have milk, we have egg, we have potato, we have everything. Even we have ice cream, even we have ice lollies, even we have cakes, mashallah. And that's ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We say, Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen. You have millions outside UK, they need your donation. They've got disease, they've got the virus, and they have nothing for their treatment. And the ulama got the fatwa to pay your zakat in advance. Pay your zakat in advance before the time of the zakat for example time of your zakat is end of ramzan or a beginning of hajj or the next year first of january you can pay it now and you can guess how much the zakat and you pay it if anything extra after your calculation in the end of this year or your end of your year of zakat then this extra would be donation for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you paid less, then you can cover it in the time of your zakah uh, date. That's first. So, it's allowed to pay your zakat in advance. And that's very important. Because millions of your brothers and sisters have nothing to eat. And they've got the virus. Second, we've heard, and all of you heard the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he say, if someone died from the plague, he will get the reward of shaheed. But who can tell if somebody die, Muslim, die, and you say, oh, this is shaheed, and that's shaheed. Allah, only Allah knows who is the shaheed. So, please don't give this title to anyone died from this virus. Even if someone fight the for his uh, money, for his land, for his deen. And they don't say he's a shaheed because only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who is the shaheed, who is the murderer. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in one of the battles, one is two incidents in different battles. One battle, one of the people fought with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he died, the Sahaba al kiram said, MashaAllah, he got the shahada fi sabila. He's a martyr. He is a shaheed. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, How do you know he's a shaheed? He is in the hellfire. They said, How come, Ya Rasulullah? He was fighting with us. He said, Check his pocket. Check his pocket. When they checked his pocket, they found siwak. Rud siwak. When somebody, after wudu, clean his mouth. From where, Ya Rasulullah, he did get this? He said he took it from the loot, from the bounty. You know, after the war finished, they, 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 the enemies left behind them 
their swords, their shields, their uh, arrows, everything behind them. And that's for the leader to sell it and then give this money for the charity, for donation, and for the people who fought. This person took one root siwak. Then the prophet say, he is a thief, he's not a shaheed. In another battle, they seen someone killed three from the non-Muslims in, in the battlefield. And then the Sahaba came and they said, oh, he is a shaheed, Allah, he got the shahada, he's a martyr. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no, he is in the hellfire. They said, how come Ya Rasulullah, look, he killed three. He said, yes, but he was wounded in his stomach. He couldn't bear the pain, so he put his knife inside his stomach and he cut himself. He committed suicide, he killed himself. So the Prophet said, he is not a shaheed, he deserves Jahannam and Billah. So me and you and everybody, listen, don't give the title, oh, shaheed, he died shaheed. We have so many Muslims, they believe that there is someone else beside Allah has the power, he can change our life, he can increase our money, he can increase our age, and Mawlana so and so, and Saint so and so, Sidi so and so, he is powerful, he can do this, he can do that, that if somebody got this belief, he is a mushrik, he, is, he has ishraq in his heart. So how come when he died from plague or died from virus, we say, oh, he's a shaheed, leave them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we could say, oh Allah, grant him or her the reward of shaheed. But don't say shaheed. Because only Allah shaheedun alayna. Only Allah witnessed who is the shaheed and Allah witnessed what's in our, our uh, niyat, our intention and our iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty protect all of us, all of the whole world, all the human being, all animals, all whatever Allah creation from this virus. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cures our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, our people living in the same city, in the same earth. We are living in the same earth. And alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, we've seen people now, they change their looking neighbors because we live in, in, in UK. Sometimes they don't talk to you. Now they start talking to you, asking, how are you? Do you need anything? Do you need? And that's great from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least we know virus, coronavirus, didn't come to a color or nationality or uh, 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 male or female or Muslim or non-Muslim. He doesn't know these things. He comes to the whole mankind. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this uh, day on the month of Sha'ban that, O oh Allah, lift this virus from this earth and protect everyone from this virus. Allahumma inna nas'aluka fi hadha liyawm al-fadil wa fi hadhi al-sa'ati al-mubaraka. التي نسألك يا رب أن تكون ساعة إجابة اللهم ارفع مقتك وغضبك عنا اللهم ارفع مقتك وغضبك عنا اللهم ارفع مقتك وغضبك عنا ولا تؤاخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا ولا تؤاخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا اللهم اشفنا واشف كل مريض من الناس أجمعين اللهم اشف كل مريض من الناس أجمعين اللهم إن الخلق خلقك اللهم إن هذا الكون لك وأنت الله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحانك ربي إني كنت من الظالمين ربنا اكشف عنا العذاب ربنا اكشف عنا العذاب ربنا اكشف عنا العذاب إنا مؤمنون ربي لا تؤاخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم واستغفروه يغفر لكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقيم الصلاة